Here's an update from the Texas Bar Journal. Technology is so prevalent that it has started being used in ways developers did not envision. Google Earth shows you all angles of a mapped street, but when one man searched a popular tourist destination, the image he found was that of his wife with another man, which led him to file for divorce. Then there are smart home electronics, such as Amazon Echo, Google Home, Nest thermostats, Ring video doorbells, and Sonos sound systems. All of these can be controlled remotely and may keep records of usage, including audio and video recordings. Jessica Hoffman, the founder and CEO of Family Docket and author of Living Spaces in the January issue of the Texas Bar Journal says, these devices are already having an impact in the legal world with crime prevention and investigation. Unfortunately, these devices are also being used to perpetrate crimes. The abuser uses access to the devices as a mechanism of control. They can control lights, temperature, music, and television access. She says it's important to protect yourself and your clients. Regularly change your wireless password in your home and make sure it's not something that can be easily guessed. Change your account credentials for all in-home devices and share them only with people who need them. Separate your Apple user ID from that of your ex-spouse and your kids. If your accounts are linked, apps you download or photos you take on your device may get downloaded through the cloud onto your children's devices and be in plain sight of anyone who has the device. Consider disabling tracking like Find My iPhone, Life360, or SnapMap. They can also be helpful in knowing where your teenagers are, but also can alert others to where they are as well. Separate your Netflix, Amazon, DirecTV, and other accounts from your ex-spouse. No one needs to know what you're watching. For more information, go to texasbar.com slash tbj.